What's going on you guys? In this video, I want to break out some concepts and tools you can use to really improve your boxing for the long run. When I get messages on people gassing out in their fights or their training, there's usually a bottleneck somewhere. It could be technical, it could be speed, it could be endurance. It all depends on who you're going up against. So here's a way to break out your workouts so that you can sort of tackle all these areas at once and keep in mind all these considerations. Now I have a video like this on my channel before, but I just it was just a talk video. So here I'm going to talk through it and demonstrate it for you a few ways that you can really improve your boxing for the long run. All right, let's get into it. So we've got three workouts to consider or three types of training. Now they don't often have to be separate by day. We have technical. You're working on specific things, defense, hooks, pressure, head movement, whatever. Then we've got top speed. How fast can you make those movements go? And then what we have is threshold training, which is gonna be like your fight. Non-stop, fight pace, active training. So on a technical day, you could have it be the whole day or just the primary focus of the day. It doesn't mean you just have to do this. But on the technical day, you're thinking about technical aspects of boxing. Let's say I'm working on head movement. Here. And I'm moving my head and I'm working on it. Now my pace is busy, but I'm not really going crazy all at it. I want to be aware of what I'm doing. I want to feel what I'm doing. Defense. And I can move. Go into the body. I don't want to go so crazy that I lose sight of what I'm doing. Technical. Let's say I'm working on the jab. I want to be able to put my mind to it and be aware. I want to work on compound attacks. Bop, 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 bop. As long as I'm aware of what I'm doing and I can focus, not going too crazy, I can work on technical aspects of my boxing. That's one day a week of your training. The next element is top speed. Sometimes you can work on your training, technical and all that, have good conditioning, but you're not really good at the top end. You want to take your, your punches, and your feet out for a test drive. Really see how fast you can push them. The thing is here is that you want longer breaks between your combos. So here, if I give it a test, and I move. Just want to let it fly. Want to let my hands really fly. So with top speed, I'm not necessarily focused on any particular technique, head movement, full work or compound attacks or defense. I just want to really see how fast I can make my hands go. Bop, 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 bop. And in between there, I want to move, catch my breath, and then go again. Really recover and push the top speed of my shots. All right, the last section, or let's say the third day of your training. And again, it doesn't always have to be broken. You can break it up by rounds if you want. One round technical, one round top speed, and then this. is what I call threshold training, or blitz rounds, or fight pace rounds. Whatever you want to do to try to simulate the fight, simulate your toughest sparring. Take your toughest sparring, try to simulate those rounds. Put yourself under that kind of pressure so that you get used to it. Head, hands, feet, head, hands, feet. That's what's moving at all times. You try to work yourself into the ground. I would say you don't want to really do this more than once a week. So let's say you got your, your Monday, Tuesday, and your Wednesday, then Thursday could be another light day or a day off or whatever. But here's how it's going to look. You're just going to go at it like it's a fight, but it's not a brawl. Head, hands, feet, all moving. Oh, 
All right, so in that last section, five pace rounds, you want to build up some lactic acid. You want to feed yourself, start to struggle, start to get sluggish. Really work yourself until fatigue and push through. Push the threshold conditioning of your boxing. That's one thing that's really going to help you in the fights when the pressure's on the line and you need more output. So various aspects of your boxing that you have to work through. Technical is most important. Those messages have to signal through the cohesiveness and sequencing of your boxing has to make sense. Where a lot of people also get in trouble is top speed. They may have all the skill and endurance in the world, but somebody has that speed up on them and you just can't catch them. So you do need to work on the top speed of your boxing. But where I see a lot of people have trouble is when they get into that third and their fourth round, they start to gas out. It's painful to push the threshold. It's painful to really get in there and grind it out. It's beautiful to work on technical boxing. 10, 12 rounds, you can do it. Push the threshold, maybe by the third or fourth round, you're going to feel it. Take one day of the week, push that threshold for about three or four rounds. These elements all together, more on the technical, top speed, and pushing the threshold, really going to give you an edge in the ring, in your sparring, and in your fights. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Peace.